When we think of Impressionist works, we tend to think about the technique. I think that's what comes to mind when people think about Impressionism, the loose brushwork, the light. But it's also about subjects. In the Impressionists painted the modern city and scenes of leisure, people strolling down the new boulevards and people sitting at cafes and people going to the ballet and all these scenes of very animated life in this new Paris. I think we're really looking at the high point, perhaps the end point of his Impressionist career. This painting was completed in 1881 and included in the seventh Impressionist exhibition. I always think of this as an Impressionist version of the history painting. I mean, history painting as the great battle scenes or great mythological scenes. Here he takes the scene of ordinary life of his friends and colleagues and the restaurant owner and the boaters uh, gathered together on the terrace of a restaurant in a little town west of Paris. But he gives it this incredible scale and size and aspiration. So we're really seeing Renoir with his full capacity as a great painter, a great impressionist painter. He's still playing with flickering light. You see that in the landscape in the background, which fills the upper left corner of the painting. Uh, you certainly see it in this fabulous still life, which is the focal point of the foreground. All of the bottles and the bits and pieces, the detritus of this lunch that the group has been enjoying. In terms of technique, I was reflecting on some of his famous paintings from maybe five or 10 years earlier, the Balançoire, where it's much more of a of sort of flickering gestural application of paint. And here I think it's slightly more finished. So maybe we see him shifting or drifting towards his later, more classical style. But you do have a sense of an artist in full confidence and in full control of his capacities. And the fullness of the painting allows us to argue that this is the height of an achievement. <laughs> 